Ah, those pesky Japanese. Good morning, Masaka Universe. Um, yep. Just when you thought you had figured out Group C, nope. Those two 4 nil victories in the first round don't count for much when it comes to the second round, and maybe Uruguay was too sure of themselves and Japan needed something to prove. Whatever it is, we get a draw between those two, which I was quite surprised, uh, to say the least. Both halves in this game were super similar, uh, in the sense that, at least from scoring, all I saw, unfortunately, again, were highlights. I saw all the goals, I saw two more highlights, and yeah. What I could get is that Uruguay, of course, had more of the game, but uh, Japan was very dangerous on the counter and overall. Um, you know, never to be the put away. Also, um, Quick jersey matchup, Japan in those away jerseys are so boringly awful. Um, yeah, that's the first time I really saw them live at a major tournament. I don't think they've played with them at the Asian Cup, uh, if my memory serves me right. And Uruguay with their new jerseys. So this one from the World Cup they are not using anymore. Uh, I think they're both pretty similar. So back to the game. Uh, after some initial pressure from Uruguay, Miyoshi actually gets a pretty nicely played goal where he uh, goes into the penalty box, cuts outside around the defender and then slams it into the near corner uh, in the 25th minute, make it 1-0. Um, but shortly thereafter, um, Uruguay have a claim for a penalty foul. It was basically, um, was it Ueda? Ueda and Cavani um, are going for a ball in the box, but you could see that Weda is having the foot also quite high. And then, yeah, you can discuss, is he just blocking Cavani off uh, in the hope to block the ball? Or is he really hitting towards Cavani? If you look from VAR, from kind of behind the goal, it may look a little bit like the, um, the latter. I'm still not so sure about it, to be honest with you. Anyway, they give the penalty, Suarez heads home. Uh, hits home and then a few minutes later Cavani from a distance hits the angle of the woodwork uh, thunderous shot that very well would have deserved a goal but it was not to be one one goes into the half and as in the first half 59th minute Miyoshi gives Japan the lead again and again, it doesn't take long for Uruguay to hit back uh, after a corner. Jimenez heads it in and just goes into the far corner, right next to the post. It hits uh, the goal. And then again, Suarez this time uh, hits the bar. So Uruguay is a little bit unlucky in not getting the win, but you know, Japan hits back. If we now look at the table in this group, Uruguay leaves it, has of course now third place uh, guaranteed, which doesn't count for much. Chile has with one game less three, Japan one, Ecuador zero. Um, I think it's not, it might not be necessarily bad news for Uruguay, although it's a kind of a disappointing uh, result. I think this result is more bad news for Argentina, who then even with a win and given that, you know, Colombia and Paraguay are playing, but Colombia has already first place secure, which means they might rest players. Um, Argentina doesn't look good. Uh, at the mo I repeat from yesterday, I actually have a feeling that Argentina might be eliminated from at the group stage. Big disaster, I would say. Uruguay fans will not mind if this result helped Argentina get eliminated, but Let's see how it will go. It also proves now for a second time that those guest teams are more than cannon fodder. So that's what you want to have. I still have a problem with those guest teams being present. I know with 10 teams it's a stupid tournament, but I think get those guest, get different guest teams that are more from the Americas. And I know that the Gold Cup is the same time solution gotta be found for that anyway uh let, let me know what you thought about the game uh whether you agree with uh what i have been deducing from those highlights 
give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and i will talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that i want to wish you a wonderful day